Eugene the Fit. Check out my website, eugenefit.com. See the daily tips, get you a program. Follow me at Eugene the Fit. Now let's get it. So I'm gonna recap my November and to start out, my sleep has been trash. If you saw my last video, you know that one of my main goals was to get my sleep back on track. Well, that did not happen. <laughs> and as a result, my workouts have been decent at best. My intensity hasn't been quite what I'm accustomed to it being, which has my body looking flat. And although I made some strength gains, it isn't what I would expect it to be, nor my stuff historically, which means I gotta get this sleep together ASAP, or otherwise I'm gonna start treading water and I look like Scooby-Doo where he's running in place and his feet sliding back, but he's going nowhere. That's gonna be me. I'm in a little more sore than usual, which is probably also a side effect of this sleep and my body recovering during the night. And also I've been having back pain, which is not normal for me. And this back pain is because I've been doing more sitting than I usually do. Not only because I went out of town a few times, so I was driving, but also I've been sitting down at the desk a lot, like doing a lot of edits. So I got to pull out the standing desk. My back been hurting and I don't really do that. So I've been doing some extra foam rolling to get the pain away. So all wasn't lost. The four weeks had some positive side effects. Like I did gain the two pounds I desired, which is great. Pat myself on the back for that. And although I've been lacking sleep, I did not miss a workout. So we're still on schedule, still showing up, still punch the clock. Another good thing is I got to go to my daughter's school and speak for a career day. She uh, <laughs> talks to the teachers and counselors and stuff and tells them all the time, oh, my daddy's a bodybuilder, he's a trainer, he's this and that. So they called and asked me to come in. So I spoke to the kids. Uh, it was fun. The kids are interesting. It was all fourth graders and they wanted me to flex. They wanted me to do one arm push ups. I turned into just <laughs> a showcase pretty much. But we conversed and talked. I asked them questions. They asked me questions. Got a little insight into what they thought about fitness and health and nutrition and gave them little pointers on things they could take at home and start doing right away about being active or making better choices. And <laughs> a lot of them said they want abs, so I gave them some pointers on that too. But kids are funny. I hit some PRs. I hit some dumbbell bench press PRs for eight reps. I hit some bent row PRs for six reps. I hit some, what was it? Elevated deadlift PRs. I don't do those often, but I started hitting those standard deadlift with I'll be on top of two Olympic plates so I can get more depth and hit PR there. Very, very, very important thing I have to say is my mind muscle connection with my calves is now at an all time high. Calf gains coming soon. All my pictures are about to be below the knee. <laughs> but that's getting better. Still working on all my muscle connection with every single muscle group, but I noticed some big improvements with my calves. Um, one thing to note is our bodies aren't perfectly symmetrical the way we may believe. So your right side may be a little bigger or your left side, depending on the person. And in this case, if you're doing something that involves both sides of your body, whether it's bench press or squats or uh, calf raises, then you have to do slight tweaks of your positioning to hit each side equally. If you're not doing that, then you're not going to work each side to the same effectiveness. And that's something I've kind of improved on with my calves. That's why I noticed the my muscle connection improvement. My goals for this month is I will improve my sleep one way or another. I'm going to get my whole process together, optimize it so I can use my time more efficiently and get these Z's. And to help with the Z's, I'm going to get back into meditation. I used to spend not a lot of time, but at least five minutes a day just quietly uh, try to push all the thoughts out of my mind and get into a meditative process. And it really helped relax me, especially when it was time for bed. So getting back into that, I think that'll help. Uh, although I'm still lean bulking, this month I'm going to put a halt to it and just maintain 
with my lack of sleep, I believe that my body is headed towards gaining more body fat than muscle with my extra calories. So to prevent that, I want to get my sleep back intact and then start adding more calories to keep going up on the scale. But maintaining this month, I um, want to stay lean. And then I'm working to improve my mind muscle connection with my lats. Now it is at an all time high and I can stimulate them intentionally in almost every angle, but I feel I can do it a little bit better. So this month I'll probably throw all the lat work towards the beginning of my workouts just to give it that extra oomph when I have the most energy. But that's what I'm after. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked the video, hit like, subscribe to my channel. Follow me at Eugene Fit. Check out my website, eugenefit.com. Get your daily tips, get your programs. If you need help with your personal journey, I give you these recaps here just to get a little insight of what's going on with me behind the scenes because I'm probably not so open about it. So this is my way to do so. But you need help with yours, you need a customized program, get my program able to coach. We'll work together, we'll powwow, I'll figure out your ins and outs of your daily life, figure out your desires, and create a program that'll tackle your nutrition and tackle your exercises and tackle everything that encompasses reaching your destination. So, like we always do at this time, take what I said here, hopefully I helped you somehow, one way or another, and be great.